Hi, we're going to be looking at air vapor mixtures. The problem statement we have, we're asked to determine the rate of heat transfer as well as the mass flow rate of condensates for the air conditioning unit we have sketched. I'm going to sketch it out for you right here. We have something like this, and we have some condensates coming out over here. We're told that our flow rate is like this. We have 0.1 over here, 0.2 over here, and we have some sort of coil. We're told that the condensates come out at 25 degrees C. Our, the temperature of our dry bulb is 30 degrees C. The temperature of our wet bulb, this is at 0.1, is 25 degrees C. And pressure is 98 kPa. We're told that the temperature of our dry bulb is 25 degrees C. The dew point temperature at point 0.2 is 6.5 degrees C. And our volumetric flow rate is 1,000 meters cubed per minute. In order to solve this problem, we're going to be making a few assumptions. The first one is that our mass flow rate of dry air is constant. Um, water vapor and air can be treated as ideal gases, and our change in potential energy and our change in kinetic energy are negligible. From our psychrometric charts, at a temperature of dry bulb equal to 30 degrees C, and a temperature of wet bulb equal to 25 degrees C, we can find that our enthalpy at 1 is equal to 77.88 kilojoules per kilogram. Our specific humidity at point 1 is equal to 0 0.01866 kilograms of water per kilogram of air. And our relative humidity at point 1 is equal to 0 0.6721. If we look at our psychrometric chart, it looks something like this. So we have a set of lines that are like this, with multiple lines coming down. We have a line, a set of lines that go this way, a set of dashed lines that go like this. We have an axis here, an axis here, as well as another one over here. This one here is our dry bulb temperature of dry bulb in usually degrees Celsius. This here is our specific humidity. This will be in kilograms of H2O per kilograms of air. Or sometimes in grams of H2O per kilogram of air. You have to make sure you look at the, uh, the units for this one. This one here is going to be our specific volume in meters cubed per kilogram. This dashed line here is usually our wet bulb temperature, also typically in degrees C. This here is our relative humidity in percentage. And this over here is going to be our enthalpy, typically in kilojoules per kilogram. And that's how we use the chart to figure out our different uh, properties of our vapor mixture. We can define the relative humidity at the exit, or at point 2, as the partial pressure of water vapor divided by the partial pressure at saturation. So we can say that the relative humidity at 2 is the partial pressure of water vapor divided by the partial pressure at saturation at point 2. And we say that the partial pressure of water vapor is equal to the pressure or the saturated um, pressure at 6.5 degrees C, which is the dew point temperature. And this is equal to 0 0.9682 kPa. We can say that the partial pressure at saturation is equal to the saturated pressure at 25 degrees C. And this is equal to 3.17 kPa. 
and we find that our relative humidity at 2 is equal to 0 0.9682 divided by 3.17, and this gives us a relative humidity of 0 0.3054. We now have enough information at the exit or at point two to go to our psychrometric charts, and we can say that at a temperature of dry bulb equal to 25 degrees C and a relative humidity equal to 0 0.3054, our enthalpy at point two is equal to 40.97 kilojoules per kilogram. Our specific Humidity at point two is equal to 0 0.006206 kilograms of water divided by kilograms of air. And our specific volume at point two is equal to 0 0.882 meters cubed per kilogram. If you remember, we said in our assumptions that our mass flow rate of dry air was constant. So we can solve for our mass flow rate of air. This is going to be equal to the volumetric flow rate at the exit divided by the specific volume of dry air at the exit. This gives us 1,000, this is in meters cubed per minute, divided by 0 0.882, and this is in meters cubed per kilogram which gives us a mass flow rate of 1,113.8 kilograms per minute. In order to solve for the mass flow rate of condensates, we can say that the mass flow rate of condensate is equal to the mass flow rate of air times the change in specific humidity. So the specific humidity at point 1 minus the specific humidity at point 2. This gives us 1113.8 times 0 0.01866 minus 0 0.006206 and we get a mass flow rate of condensates equal to 14.12 kilograms per minute. Now in order to solve for our Q out, we can say that the mass flow rate of air times the enthalpy at point one, so the energy coming in is equal to Q out, the energy going out, plus our mass flow rate of air times the enthalpy at point two, plus the mass flow rate of our condensates times the enthalpy of our condensates. And we can say that the enthalpy of our condensates is equal to the enthalpy at 25 degrees C and a quality equal to zero. And this is equal to 104.83 kilojoules per kilogram. So we get that Q out is equal to our mass flow rate of air times the enthalpy at point one minus the enthalpy at point two minus our mass flow rate of condensates times the enthalpy of our condensates. This gives us 1113.8 times our change in enthalpy, which is 77.88 minus 40.97 minus our mass flow rate of condensates, which is 14.12 times the enthalpy of our condensates, which is 104.83 and we get that our Q out is equal to 40,377 kilojoules per minute. And this gives us a Q out of 672.9 kilowatts.